What's up my honey bunnies? Welcome back to a new video. So today I am finally taking care of my skin. We are like in almost week three of the quarantine and I've been neglecting my skin really, really bad. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing okay and that you guys are still practicing social distancing and taking care of yourselves and hopefully this can end soon so that we can go back to going outside and just, you know, being with family and being with friends and... <sighs> anyway, so I don't feel all that great today, but I just felt like picking up the camera and just talking to you guys. So I am on my cycle. I mean, why can't that be canceled as well? You know what I mean? I got up and just try to do something that makes me happy, which is facial and beauty. And I waxed today. I waxed my armpits <laughs> because they were looking pretty hairy. Um, so I've been doing some like beauty rituals here and there. I've been cleaning. So um, I thought I would just clean out my makeup and then just show you guys how I keep my makeup sanitized and clean. I also need to clean my beauty room, um, my desk, as you can see. It's really, really bad. I just did some steaming. If you guys haven't watched my um, facial at home, like how I do my facials at home, I will link that video down below. It's like not the last one, but the one before that. Yeah, so let's get started with this video. I just keep rambling, but I just really want to know how you guys are doing. Even if you just want to vent a little bit, you can DM me or just leave it in the comments. It's not, it's not because of the quarantine or anything like that or the virus. Your makeup needs to get sanitized regardless. Um, so it can, you know, last you and it can stay bacteria free. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a lot of bacteria on your makeup. It goes on your eye, it goes on your lips, it goes on your face, and then you break out and that's not good. So I'm gonna show you guys how I clean it and it's really easy. I mean, yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> I'm gonna start off by cleaning this little table because I am gonna need something to put all my makeup on top. So we're gonna just take everything out and just clean it so I can have a clean surface so that I can work on. So that is what we're gonna do. Now that I have a clean surface, we're gonna tackle my makeup collection. So that is pretty much what it's looking like right now. Very dusty and dirty. And then I also have more things here that I need to organize and clean and sanitize as well. So it's really good to have a clean surface so you can put everything on here. And I'm gonna kind of just divide the table. So one side is gonna be the dirty stuff and then the other side is gonna be the clean stuff so that everything is nice and separated. And then we're gonna put everything back. Okay, so all I, all I did right now was just clean the outside of the makeup storage and then just like top of the table and now what I'm gonna do is go through every little section and we're gonna work by sections because if I take everything out I can get overwhelmed and then I get tired I'm like you know what I don't want to do this anymore so I like to do after I take everything out I like to go ahead and just clean this little area so that when I'm done cleaning the makeup I can just put it back in Okay, so as far as cleaning the makeup itself, I am gonna use a set of different rags. So these are just old t-shirts or just t-shirts that I'm not using anymore that I just cut into rags so that I can use for cleaning around the house. And that's just an eco-friendly tip. If you don't wanna buy any more paper towels, you wanna buy less paper towels, just use your old t-shirts. I mean, it works. <laughs> as far as the sanitizer or disinfectant, I'm just gonna use some alcohol. This is 91% alcohol. I always use the highest amount of alcohol because it evaporates faster. So the higher the amount, the less water it has. So for example, this is 91%. So it evaporates really, really fast. So this is what you need if you're gonna be using alcohol on top of your eyeshadows because you don't want something that has more water because the water is just gonna sit there and it can create, um, you know, if it just sits there, it's gonna get moldy and you don't want that. <laughs> Of course, I'm just gonna wipe this down very quickly. Just, if there's any like dust in here, I can just get it. 
Okay, so now now with a clean cloth, we're gonna use the alcohol and just spray it on top of the makeup and just, you know, very quickly wipe it down. For this type of packaging, you really don't need to spray it with alcohol if you don't want to. You can just spray it with a little bit of all-purpose cleanser or cleaner and just wipe off a little bit of the outside. Because they do come in a tube, it's not really that dirty. Because, because the actual product, it's already inside. It's not really exposed to any bacteria or any air. So these are very easy to clean. Clean the inside of the actual product if it's really nasty and dirty i suggest you cleaning that as well but for the most part these are just very easy to clean and the same goes for any mascara i just pretty much wipe the outside of it and that's it because there's really not much you can clean in the inside but if you really really want to clean the inside what you can do is open it up go to the sink and then just and just wash this with a little bit of soap and hot water and that way you can get rid of all those little hairs and maybe like fuzzies or anything that's on it and then wait till it dries and then put it back in so today i'm not going to do that my pencils or lip liners what i like to do is clean the outside of it with you know the cleanser or the cleaner and then open it up and then just sharpen it a little bit so that i have a fresh you know tip so that's pretty much what i do next up i have some powders so this is a setting powder and then this is like kind of like a foundation setting powder um so what i'm gonna do they're both different this one is a pressed one so you can see it's pressed and then this one is loose so this is what i like to do so i clean the outside first and then i open it up and if there's any product i just dump it out and then i just spray the alcohol inside and just wipe it with my clean um rag and that's pretty much it i just close it back up now for this one, it's a little different because it is pressed. So I still spray the alcohol directly. I'm not gonna touch the product itself, like I'm not gonna wipe it, but I am gonna wipe the rest of it. You can still see that it's a little bit wet, so I'm gonna leave this open so that so that it can completely dry i mean it really evaporates really fast as you can see i am done cleaning all of these little products i'm gonna put it back in and just organize everything up again i have my next drawer here and we're gonna start off with the pressed powder products so i'm gonna do the same thing spray it on the outside clean it up But for the inside, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to spray it. My camera battery died, so I am letting it charge. And yes, that's Truffles being a little brat. Yeah, so I'm gonna let it charge. So I'm using my phone for now because I really wanna show you guys this really quickly. I've been using these little stickers that you can get at any office supply type of store uh, for years now. And I've been showing you guys on Instagram for years now. And I really use, and I really, I really like to use these little stickers so that I can put the date on when I open the product, especially for green beauty products. You really wanna know when you open them, how long you've had them, because they tend to expire a little faster than conventional makeup. A lot of the products also come with little, um, you guys can see that little open jars and it tells you the date. So that pretty much tells you that when you open this up, you only have that many months to use it up before it expires. So this one is only 12 months, so that's only a year. So it is definitely expired. I opened it up in 918. <laughs> I did open it up and it does smell a little bit like old Crayola so I'm gonna have to 
toss it. It is one of my favorite highlighters. I really wanted to show you guys here on YouTube because I don't think I've ever showed you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, I do even have a post with these little stickers showing you guys that that's what I use to keep track on when I open my products so that I know what's expired and what's not. You don't always have to follow the little open jar date. I mean, if it still smells good and it still performs good, you should still use it until you finish it up. Just a heads up, you should always smell the things and see how they're performing because you don't want to get like an eye infection or break out because you're using expired makeup. Hopefully, hopefully you guys found this little tip helpful with the little stickers. All right, my honey bunny, so I'm back. I let my camera charge for a little bit, so I'm going to continue where I left off. So I have these face palettes or like you know blushes and bronzers and highlights that are powder so again i'm just going to spray the alcohol on top of the product itself and let it evaporate before closing it okay so usually i spray alcohol all over the inside and the outside but because alcohol is very hard to find right now because of the virus i'm only going to spray it onto the actual product so it can get sanitized and the outside i'm just going to clean with regular all-purpose cleaner uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit. And again, just let it evaporate. If you do not have any alcohol right now, I do not suggest applying any like all-purpose cleaner onto your actual product. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, if you want, you can just clean around it or like the outside and just wait until you get some alcohol. But you should only just spray some alcohol on top of the uh, powders or actual product itself the actual makeup i think there's like brands that make you know makeup cleaners that you can spray onto the product itself but i don't really waste my money on that i can just buy alcohol and just use it it works perfectly i mean it sanitizes it kills bacteria so that is what i'm doing and again i'm just going to go ahead and clean the outside portion of the products with a regular cleaner I suggest also cleaning anything that goes around your eyes like little tools like this for like eyelashes you should always keep them sanitized because you don't want to be attracting any bacteria onto your eyes because you can get an infection i've had an eye infection before and it feels horrible so you know keep your tools clean at all times by sanitizing them quite often as far as cream makeup i also sanitize it so i already cleaned the outside so what i'm going to do is also just spray a little bit of alcohol on top of the actual product just like everything else that i'm spraying alcohol on top i'm just going to leave it out until it dries okay so my, my third drawer is my lipstick lip glosses lip liners and just anything to do with lips and this is also very easy to sanitize. You should always, you know, be sanitizing it because it goes on your mouth. Um, so again, just clean the outside with some all-purpose cleaner. And then if you have alcohol, spray the, for example, the lipsticks. You can just open it up. If you really want to sanitize the actual bullet, you know, the makeup itself, you can just spray a little bit of alcohol on top, just right here, and just set it aside and just let it dry. And then once it's dry, you can just put the cap back and then put it back in your drawer but today i am not going to do all that because i don't feel like i need to and again i don't really have that much alcohol so i'm trying to save the alcohol so all i'm going to do is just clean all of the outside and just put it back in while you're cleaning your makeup this is the perfect time to see if anything has expired just open everything up give it a little smell to see how things are holding up if it's you will know you will know when something's expired because it will smell pretty bad it will smell like old crayola or like just like old makeup it would really really smell and of course and of course it's the perfect time for you to declutter kind of check everything to see if you're still loving it if you're still using it like like i mentioned earlier when it comes to lip liners or eyeliners you can just sharpen them because that way you can that way you can shave away some of the old you know tip and you can have a fresh tip whenever you need it and i am down to my last drawer and in here i have my palettes so these are all eyeshadow palettes whether they're palettes that are already you know made or just palettes that i made myself in like little magnetic palettes so again same thing when it comes to powder products i just spray some alcohol directly onto the product itself let it dry and then just clean the outside with some all-purpose cleaners just i feel like at this point i'm just repeating myself but 
Hopefully you guys get an idea of how I keep my makeup sanitized. And again, this is not just right now with the virus. This is what I've been doing for years. This is something that you should be doing as well to keep your makeup nice and clean. Um, because again, infections, especially in the eye, is not fun. It's really painful and you're not gonna be able to wear makeup for a while. So you really wanna avoid that, especially if you love to do your eyes. Keep your stuff clean. It's very easy. Like I said, if you don't have alcohol right now, then maybe wait till this thing is over and when you can actually find alcohol very easily. Now that I'm done cleaning and sanitizing all of my palettes, I'm just gonna put them back in and just reorganize them. I'm also gonna kinda go through them and kinda decide which ones I'm gonna keep that I know I'm gonna use and which ones I'm not. So for sure, I am gonna keep all of my single eyeshadows for now. Um, I think last year I did a declutter with just single eyeshadows and I got rid of so many and I narrowed it down to just two magnetic palettes. That is what I have. Then I'm gonna keep my Dreamy palette. This is one of my absolute favorites. Such a beautiful palette. Um, their eyeshadow formula is really, really good from nabla if i can even open it there we go so that's what it looks like i just really love this palette so much so i'm gonna keep it if you guys have not checked them out definitely check them out they have really nice palettes and the formula is really really nice and of course i'm also gonna keep all of my aether beauty palettes because these are amazing they are the first zero or low waist makeup brand and yeah i think it's amazing so i'm gonna keep all of them Uh, it's not gonna fit okay so they're not gonna fit this way wait how did i have it before oh i think i had these facing this way i think that's why everything fit there we go so i'm gonna put these little palettes here i am down to two of these elf eyeshadow palettes and i think i'm just gonna get rid of one because i really don't reach for them that often i used to have like five of them and i have pretty much got rid of all of them. I only have these two. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is the sunset one. Um, I kinda don't want to because these shadows, all of these colors are just so pretty and definitely colors that I reach for, as you can see. But I don't really reach for it as much um, because I do have a lot of single shadows that you know do have the same shade or similar shade. So I'm just gonna get rid of the sunset. Is it called sunset? No, it's called Rose Gold Sunset. I'm sorry. Okay, that. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And the only one that I'm going to keep is this one right here, which is the Matte for Matte. Only because I have never used it. I bought it and I said I was going to use it and I just still haven't. This one has really fun colors. So I'm just going to keep it just in case I need it. So the other one I'm going to declutter is this one from Thrive Cosmetics. It's a quad. And let me tell you, the formula is so, so nice. I highly recommend if you guys have not tried their quads or their eyeshadows. It's like, the only reason I'm gonna declutter this one is because I just don't reach for it as much. The only shadow that I was using was this one and the other ones are pretty much cool tones. And if you know me, I do not like cool tone eyeshadows. I feel like just, they don't really look all that great with my skin tone. I mean, they don't look bad. I just, I prefer warm tones. So I am gonna just declutter this one and just get rid of it. Even though I really just wanna keep this one because this shadow is so pretty. Called Focus Eyeshadow Palette in number two. I believe they have different color selections. So I am gonna go for another one that's a little more warm. But this one is a number two. So hopefully that helps if you guys are into cool tones. Um, I do recommend this one. I really like the little packaging as well. It's really, really cute. Kind of looks like a bubble on top. <laughs> I am almost done decluttering my makeup. I'm just going to go through this little collection here. So this was sent as PR. That's why I have all of the shades. Of course, I'm not going to keep every single one of these shades because I know I'm not going to wear them. But I am going to keep the ones that I know I absolutely love and I know I can use over and over because I don't want to waste anything. So I have this little clean container. By the way, all of the containers that I have are either from the container store or from Marshalls or Ross. So those are the three places that I usually get my containers. But of course, Amazon has a whole bunch of them as well. But yeah, I have this little clean one that I'm going to put in my lipstick drawer. So I'm going to put all the ones that I want to keep in here. So for sure, I'm going to keep Presence because this color is just a beautiful kind of like nudie color for me. Um, it is more like a my lips but better type of color. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm also going to keep all of the nude ones because I just love a good nude. So all these nude ones are just so beautiful. And I think I can definitely 
you know wear them with like lip liners or just by themselves some of them are a little bit too light for me but like i said i can wear them with um lip liner it's really hard for me to decide but i finally kind of narrowed it down so these right here i'm going to keep for sure because i know i will wear them and i really 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 love them so i think i have 11 here these three i am not sure so i gotta like swatch them on my lips to see if i I gotta think about it. And these 11, I'm just gonna go ahead and donate because I know I'm not gonna use them. They're just not colors that I reach for. So I am just gonna go ahead and donate these. So when the quarantine is over and I see my friends and family, I can just let them choose whatever they want. Um, but yeah, for now, they're just gonna stay in this little box so that I don't forget. <laughs> Alright, I am finally done decluttering and sanitizing and cleaning my makeup stash. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. Share if you think it's helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.